What's up, everybody? Afro Show here. Then like a TIE is. And, uh, like, I just get like, you probably wonder, hey, why you got the two cards on your channel? Why you got two cards on your channel? The reason why I use because I was watching The View, and this caught me on because I, like, I remember growing up back in the 80s and watching the two Corys and movies and on like a uh, driver's license, The Lost Boys, Dream a Little, Dream, Dream a Little, Dream 2. And I remember growing up watching them in history. I mean, growing up watching them. And so, he, um, Corey Feldman, went on the view. I was like, okay, Corey Feldman goes on the view and he talks about how when he was young that he he had to grow up so fast because he was in Hollywood at a young age and he's seven years old. If y'all know who Corey Haim is, I mean Corey Feldman, this is Corey Feldman. He was the one who was best friends with Michael Jackson. This is Corey Haynes. He's the one that passed away, but he said that he had to grow up so fast when he was younger to take care of his family and all this and that. And then he was on uh, he was on doing all this stuff and all this and that and then in Hollywood that him and his friend Corey him and him and Corey Haynes had been molested while they was acting by people that's in the industries and they're still working today they won't say names he, he didn't want to say names but he told them that him and Fel him and Haynes got molested while they was acting in Hollywood like he said that when he was 13 that's when he started getting molested by some of the people in the industries and same with Haynes Haynes got molested while he was in active business at the age of 11 he goes on and talks about how the industry was so corrupt that if a kid goes into the industries they're going to get molested they're going to get molested, they're going to get, and you always wonder why do certain, some of the child stars grow up and they get into drugs and alcohols and party. Now you look at Drew Barrymore, you're probably saying, oh, she's doing very successful today. Yes, she's doing very successful today, but you got to look at her past when she was a child actress and how her mother used to drag her to clubs, get her to drink, get her to do drugs. Now think about it. She's a child and her parent and her mother was doing that to her. Same with the kid that was in the uh, the sidekick movie with Chuck Norris. He committed suicide. Walking Phoenix brother died in the 90s. The girl from Family Matters, Fox, uh, Jamie Foxworth. She got kicked off of Family Matters and she ended up doing drugs and porn. And you got Corey Feldman sitting up there telling people that the industry's messed up for kids to jump into because one thing is they're going to get molested in there. And I was sitting up there, I was like, this guy is really spilling all the beans. Like, for real, if you go on YouTube. Because I've actually seen several videos where they actually show kids stars that's been molested in the industries. One was the two Corys and one they show Britney Spears. But they really show that these two have really been molested. And that's why they ended up like they did today doing drugs, rehabs, alcohol, bad relationships. Bad relationships. And he wrote, uh, Corey Feldman wrote, writes a book, and people, he, people, well, he said people are going to think that he's bad-mouthing his friend Haynes, which he's not. He's really putting out that this is what really happened to, happened to us while we was kids. Like, I'm not talking bad about him or nothing. He talks about how 
when he was molested, he had he did he was confused about himself. He wasn't calling him gay, but he was confused about himself. And I'm sitting up here and I'm I'm sitting up here and I'm hearing this. It's like I did a lot of videos talking about the Illuminati, what's going on in the industry, why what's really going on. Now you got an eighties icon coming out the woodworks even putting more on it putting more on it saying hey this isn't what happened too that nobody knew about that kids are getting like kids stars are getting molested in Hollywood either the parents don't know or the parents don't care because one thing is once the kids start making money what happens hey their mind changes so quickly and that's how it is you always in a pair and you look at now for example you think I'm probably lying about all this which I'm not I said this is how you know I mean you start using some celebrities that really backs my claim now you look at Miley Cyrus you look at how she used to look back when she started out in Hannah Montana and you look at her now And you look at her now, it's like, it makes you like, you probably saying, well, you can't use Miley Cyrus for that. No, but you got to look at her. You got to look at, I've seen a lot of, a lot of uh, teen stars actually shake their image off. If they've been on Nickelodeon or Disney, they actually can shake that image off without doing something so stupid where they got to shake it off. Now you look at Kiki Palmer. Everybody know Kiki Palmer when she did the show True Jackson VP. When she did True Jackson VP, she was a child star. She's been in uh, several movies, Killer and the Bee with uh, with uh, Lawrence Fishburne and Angela Bassett to Barbershop 2 Back in Business with Queen Latifah, Ice Cube, Cedric Entertainer. Mm so on and so forth you see that they can shake that image off that can shake the image off but when you sit here and look at it when you can sit here and look at some celebrities now you say oh, oh don't talk bad about Miley don't talk don't bad about Miley you look at Lindsay Lohan Look what she look, used to look like back in the parent trap, and you look at her now. Or you look at, uh, my friend, uh, Ryan Reynolds, you know, the guy that was in, uh, X Men to play Deadpool. He played in, uh, Blade. The th like, the third inst uh, what, second installment? No, it was the third installment. <laughs> the third, the Blade trilogy. And he played the Green Lantern, and uh, he was a child actor himself. I say, like, how do you how do you know? I remember as a kid. You gotta remember, remember as a kid, he did several movies, and look how successful he came. There's many different ways a child actor can shake that image, but they didn't have not have to go twerking on a dance stage at a VMAs awards. But all Corey Feldman was saying is. It's spilling what the entertainment's doing. It's telling where, hey man, watch your kids. Watch your kids out there because once you get your kid into that whole entertainment industry, do not let, he ain't saying this, but this is when I'm just kind of summing up a little bit. It's like, it's summing up what it's saying is, uh, when your child gets into the entertainment industry, keep a close eye on your child. Don't sit up there and don't sit up there and let that money blind you from seeing the truth. Because one thing is, once you do, your child's gonna get out of hand. And I think Molly Cyrus was the first one, not the first one, but you've seen her from straight off the back when she did Hannah Montana. What happened? She posed half naked for a photo album. She sat up there and smoked salvia on Kim. She sat there and dated a 21-year-old when she was still under the age of 18. And
and nobody never stopped her. Her father was so blindsided by the money she was making, he really didn't step in. And he clearly states, Corey Feldman clearly states off the bat, he says, the only person that got accused of molestation and was not really a child molester was Michael Jackson. He's still backing that. He's telling that. He said Michael Jackson's not a pedophile. It's just how they portrayed him to look like a pedophile. And he's saying that on national TV. He's, t he's telling people, it's like, <laughs> back then before him and Haynes died, back before Haynes died, him and Haynes used to sit up there and try to tell people, both of them tried to tell people what was going on. That Jay try to tell people what's really happening in the industry, but no one wants to listen. He even said that the media was going to lie. The media didn't want to hear it until he actually went on the view today. Now you got this channel star coming out saying that they didn't want to hear it, but he's saying that watch your children man because one thing is that entertainment business it ain't shit I so said you got and that's how it is man. and it makes you feel bad about this because you probably saying, oh, he's a washed-up actor, he's a washed-up actor, yada, 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 yada. And I'm saying, and, and, and one thing is, I'm backing up, like, one thing is, you can actually look this up. Like I said, I always, did, when I do videos like this, I always bring up several people, Paul Moody, Dick Gregory, Professor Grill, about this, and about the entertainment industry they really sit up there you go look up Dick Gregory Paul Moody and Professor Grill and because one thing is I don't think has been in the business you got Dick Gregory which was an activist and a comedian then you got Paul Moody he actually was is a writer and a comedian too and he worked with Richard Pryor Dave Chappelle and Levin Color and you got Professor Grill who was actually part of uh, public Enemy, a group back in the 90s, 80, late 80s, early 90s, and telling y'all what's going on. And you really can't say, well, Feldman, Feldman ain't right anyway. He was on drugs. And you wonder why they get on drugs. And you wonder why they get on drugs. Because how they've been put, what they've been put through. And And, it, and I'm, I'm sitting up there and I was like, finally, somebody that was in the entertainment industry that's really putting this out there, it's really saying that, that the entertainment industry is so messed up, it's so, it's so messed up, it's so wrong, and so this and that and this and that. And... If it takes if it takes a celebrity go on national TV to tell you, hey, this is what's really going on to back up what's really going on, then you need to take this and understand it. And that's how it is. You got a child, a former child actor, to going on national TV to say this is what's really going on. Then people are acting so blinded by what's been said. They still want to believe, oh, leave Miley alone. Don't talk about Justin Bieber. And you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And you sit up there, what you see on TV and in movie is just an image, just a projectory. You see what I'm saying? But when closed doors, when the doors are closed, man, you never know what's happening. And he's sitting up there telling, this is what happens. Corey Feldman is sitting up there telling this is what happened behind closed doors that you don't know about. This is why he, this, he's telling this is why me and Hames came out messed up. 
is because when we was kids, we got molested, we got did wrong, we ended up turning to drugs because we got screwed over. He's not blaming nobody, but he's saying this is what happened when nobody's paying attention. We got molested at a young age in the entertainment industries, but nobody wanted to believe us. And you wonder why Haynes passed away. Because he <clears throat> he felt so guilty about being molested at a young age all those times. He never couldn't get, stay clean. Hank Feldman did. But y'all still want to sit up there and glamorize these damn celebrities like they're fucking gods. But when it comes out to be certain celebrities coming out speaking about what's going on behind the scenes, what's going on in the industry, y'all want to label them as a as a drug addict, as an alcoholic, uh, crazy, and so on and so forth. Because you look at them, oh, they're crazy, they don't know what to talk about. But you sit up and you glamorize certain other celebrities. Oh, we love Jay-Z, we love Beyonce. But take it from a person that's actually been there in the limelight and know what goes on behind the scenes. Because one thing is, it takes guts for them to go out there and tell them what's really happening. It really does. And uh, to end this video, look, me, but I want to try to find some more information about this because I'm gonna try to put some videos in the link, video links in there if I can, if I can. But but like I said, man, take this with a grain of salt. Take it, take this information and run with it. Because do you really want to put your child in an entertainment industry where they can come up being drug addicts, uh, alcoholics, bipolar, or? to a point where they can't take care of themselves because you're so blinded by the money that you're killing your cash cow. And that's how it is. You're killing your cash cow because I ain't, that's what he's saying. That's what he's kind of saying. I ain't saying he's putting words in his mouth. I don't want to put words in his mouth, but it is what it is, man. They're trying to tell you, watch your kids back. Don't let that money blindside you. Always be there to protect them from what's going on because if you don't your child is going to get jacked the hell up and like I said I'll use prime examples Britney Spears Mickey Mouse Club she shaves her head Miley Cyrus Hannah Montana uh, smoking Savia twerking up on Robin Thicke dating the 21 year old even though she was 16 or 17 at the time uh, see what I'm saying Lindsay Lohan parent trap to rehab and people want to be blindsided by this and this has been Afro Joe 10 like a T.I. is and I'm going to ask a question because I'm getting sick and tired of just getting asked I've been asked I'm, like I'm, I did videos and there's been people writing so like, I sh I sh like there was a guy that actually wrote a comment saying I should have my own sh my own show now I'm not trying to like look really I'm not trying to promote myself no way to scratch it but it's like just tell me what you think scratch the whole show thing tell me what you think about this whole Corey Feldman thing do you think he's really putting putting Hollywood out there on blast or do you think he's just doing this just, just trying to get attention to me I think he's putting Hollywood on blast because like I said I gave you three names that's actually put Hollywood on blast Paul Moody, Dick Gregory and Professor Grell plus I can't forget Dr. Umar Johnson because sometimes if you go watch some of his videos he's putting Hollywood on blast too and like I said the movie Bamboo like well I can't say Bamboo's but if you look at the movie Bamboos did by Spike Lee, it kind of puts, puts it out there too. But like I said, do you think he's only doing it just to get attention or he's doing this just to show everybody, hey, watch your ass in Hollywood because really no, does not pay. I say, your dreams will never come true as long as you got to bend over and take it up the ass. Because real. And I think he's telling the truth, man, because I'm, I'm doing a lot of Look, uh, looking up on some of the stuff that goes on Hollywood and 
It seems like he's telling more of the truth than a lie. And people just don't want to see it. Find me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And uh, find me on Tumblr. Tell me what you think. Don't sit up there and say, fuck you, Afro. No. Tell me what you think about this whole situation. Peace, love, peace, love, and Afro. Peace, love, and Afro. Peace, love, and Afro. Peace, yeah. Peace out.